Okay. Is the mic working? Yes. Okay, cool. So what we where we left it last time, because uh, I did a bit of a another test live streaming on Twitter directly and I was just playing with this a little bit. Just trying to get basically the word and the attention output. Um, if that runs at all. Is that gonna run at all? That was running. Anyway, uh, I guess what we want to do, but I'm still, it's still not very clear though. So attention output for the word, cleave, blah, blah, blah. So now what we're doing is we're checking, a, we're giving it, we're giving a, a, a word against, against the actual input sequence. So again, this is some sort of encoding, right? So what we're doing is we're, we're calculating But how does this even do this? Because this single head attention, single head attention query. So the query, so it, uh, it does the projection and then does the attention trans query, okay. Um, so it actually does the projection first. So it's even, it's, it's it has yet another degree of, in, of indirection in here. So I don't, this this kind of is, is, is very difficult to, um, it's very difficult to, uh, to guess if it's gonna be, um, it's very difficult to interpret if it's gonna be really something that uh, that makes sense or not. These numbers, to be honest, I don't know. The, the completely different. Like I don't even know, especially because they're like ten dimensional, right? Um, anyway, so but let's just try to kind of uh, move on to the next step, which and then let's see if it's just something wrong with this. Because ideally, because because now all we have to do, right? I guess is, um, well, <clears throat> we we what do we ha what was next? What do we have to do next, actually? So right calculations, blah 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 blah. blah. So now we have. I guess so the next step would be. Um, I have no idea if that counts. It's like are we. Is this something already added, normalized, or not, or whatever? We just need to do, I think, some feet forward, whatever it is. Uh, I just don't understand this. I got stuck with this diagram. I just don't understand. I don't understand why is then, you know, uh, why is this then fed into something that does output them like that's something with the outputs and this outcome uh, this is what I don't understand the output embedding uh, it's definitely I, I don't know I don't really uh, but one thing that we should probably do is just read the paper later or something like that we'll see um, so far I've done something this it's probably not a transformer right? <laughs> it's just something uh, okay, but the next step is I now basically have all these, so I should as be able to assemble this uh, this this salad of things, right? So this this word and word words and attention outputs. This attention outputs. So okay, so what is the next step? So I have the attention outputs outputs. Uh, what's the next What's the next step? Should I assemble back these uh, attention outputs? Um, and then and, and into an array and then what? <clears throat> then then do we just do like some sort of like a, whatever like like a normal neural network between these kind of uh, input and, and and an actual output mm. again the problem with the output is we need this whole dictionary thing right so the I think the outputs need to just be indices of the to the of the vocabulary I think that's what we need to do because because uh, we're predicting kind of next next word right and for us the tokens are the words so I think that's what we should do uh, uh, so
default. Can I assemble the magnet array? So, here's the attention outputs to get for the zoom again process. Uh, intelligent model architecture for task like machine translation or text summarization. Is what, okay. So, give me, so I will just put it basically, uh, put everything back. So, can you code to put H attention output into an uh, input array and then code to transform attention outputs input sequence okay <laughs> It's just, this is just what it's doing, right? So uh, so we have the attention outputs and then we just append, we just append this guy basically. So I'll just comment that. And, uh, and so we have the attention outputs now. Um, so we, now we have the attention outputs and then we essentially have Okay, now code basically to, um, yeah, so now what I need to do is, I, I need code that the training outputs, mm, or training, training attention probably I'll just call it, because this is the training inputs used here, positional encoded inputs, uh, and I'll just call it attention inputs. I'll call it attention inputs, and then we've got the yeah. I think I'll just call it attention attention inputs attention inputs, and then we have the training outputs. So uh, cool. So with the training with the with it, and then what I need to do is now code to uh, yeah returns. I guess a reference, where's my vocabulary, right? Don't know words. Into words, no, what is the, don't know words. Where is the vocabulary? Where is the vocabulary? Didn't I have a vocabulary? English vocabulary, exactly. English vocabulary, so code that returns, so code that processes the, uh, the processes, the uh, convert, basically present the training, training outputs, and returns an array with references to the vocabulary stored in English vocabulary, which is basically a uh, from from this so see if that works. Output references I would call them. I'm not so sure if that works, but This is something that I can do earlier, I guess. Because the target outputs don't, don't really need to be. To, to do nothing with them, so. Um, <clears throat> training examples. Training examples, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, um, target output. Training examples. Okay, so it's training examples. So this is a target output. This is where the thing is done. So I should actually, exactly. So I should basically do, uh, I should just put this reference in here and then just say, uh, 
training examples. So for target output, not target output for like in the train examples, the target output is this is pair one. Okay. So so essentially what I need to do is find a reference to this basically can you so I want to use pair I want I want to just do it in here so how inside the for loop starts line 43 and main pi um, using pair one, right? So using this, uh, no, that's not the point. I wanna what I wanna do. I'm not explain code default. So what I wanna do. So it's the word. Okay, just like that. Ah, okay, cool. Walker preference. I'm not so sure these outputs are now. Uh, let's see. So, not, not word, but like pair one. I believe. So this should be building the vocabulary. Uh, let me just see if I can print that. And this doesn't break because that doesn't. Oh no, actually, that's something. Okay, cool. Is it possible that no some words don't actually? Can I print um, English vocabulary? Vocab reference and print um, the actual uh, pair one. I'm curious. Face. What? Not the least. Okay, because what could reference could just be could just be many. As as she she. Okay, so there there's sometimes two. So what I would just do is uh, okay. So these returns an array. Can we just return modify these? So it just returns the first fun, first fun element. Oh, okay. So I guess. Ah, that is the way to go. It's still gonna break because sometimes it's just no, right? Yeah, phase. Okay, sometimes it's just no. But I say if bulk up reference. Okay, but well that kind of sucks. Uh, then print that. Error. 
print. What syntax error? Print not found. Print. Why is that wrong? Comma? No, it's Python, man. What? Oh, is the indentation? What? Because it already suggested these. Ah, okay, it's with the. Ah, okay, because it doesn't use brackets then. It's like these. Is it is it the syntax like that in Python? Yeah, I'm stupid. The just have told me that. Hmm. Scriptable. Oh, now it's obviously just one. Uh, and I'm missing here these. Oh. Now, okay, but it's still it's true that it it, it doesn't find all of them. Oh, because it's like natures and things like these. Uh, I think I need to remove commas. See, I, uh, you know, I'll just make it easy by just doing like these. Yeah, because it doesn't obviously find. We'll need to find another solution for these. It doesn't. It doesn't obviously find the stuff. So it's fine. But for the moment, that is not a big deal. So can I see any not found? Okay, so actually I'll get rid of these because I want, I want this to break if there's something that is not found. Okay, everything is found. This is perfect, perfect. Okay, so, so uh, there's a, uh, oh no, actually I want it to break. So I actually want it I actually want to do it like this. This is not going to break if it doesn't find it. Right. No, because it's going to append none. Mm. But I can just print that. I can just print that big thing and then see. Oh my god. Print. What is the shortcut for? Yeah, print. Okay. No, oh, it actually does find some nonce shit. It finds some nonce, and I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. If it's non, if it's non, then it's non. Like it's fine. Then we'll deal. We'll we'll, we'll deal with these later. <laughs> um. There's some knots. Then we'll just not put non, but we'll just put zero. Fuck it, whatever. So at least we get something. It's gonna be something odd, but it's just, uh, yeah, this is not something, it's not gonna break it. It's just gonna assign it the wrong word. Print vocab reference. I don't know what the word will be, but uh, Mm. Whatever. So, uh, English vocabulary vocab, uh, vocab reference. It's A. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> All good. So, at least we've got the vocabulary right now. Uh, can put you no know, to do some words are not found. Uh, 
Um, okay, but we've got that at least. And now that we're basically down here, so we've got the attention inputs. So if I go in here and I do print attention inputs, and I don't have any other print stuff bothering me here, so I'll just run this. And, and we should just get like a fine list of these. Okay, so we've got that and we've got the outputs as well. So now what, I, now what we wanna do is, uh, what do we wanna do? So now we wanna basically, I guess, do this sort of like a feed forward thing, right? Cause now we're essentially, now we're essentially, um, now we're essentially, what are we doing now? So now we're essentially um, need to kind of train a network to understand, to, to kind of create that connection between the, the, the input that has positional encoding and attention in it and to then map it to an output, right? Um, Is is that is that just that? Is it is it that simple? Like I I don't. This architecture here this bothers me a little bit. I think so. Attention is all you need. Paper. Where did I even take that from? I think I took it from here, but then. model architecture. Most competitive neural, neural uh, sequence transaction models have an encoder-decoder structure. Here, yeah, the encoder maps an input sequence of similar representations to a sequence of continuous representations. And given Z, the decoder then generates an output sequence of symbols, one element at a time. So architecture. So first transaction model relying entirely on self attention to compute representation of its input and output without using se uh, sequence aligned RNAs or convolution. So given Z, the decoder then generates. So it says it says the encoder maps an input sequence of symbols to a sequence of continuous representations. So given Z, the decoder then generates an output sequence of symbols, one element at a time. At each step, the model is autoregressive, consuming the previously generated symbols as additional input when generating the text. The transform follows the work that you're using stacked self attention and point-wise fully connected layers for both the encoder and the decoder, shown on this figure. The encoder is composed of a stack of N layers, each layer has two sub layers. The first is a multi head self attention mechanism. So, a simple position wise fully connected fee forward network. We employ a residual connection around each of the two sub layers, followed by a layer normalization that is the output of each sub layer. Okay. Produce outputs of dimension D model 512. The decoder, that's a bit crazy. The, 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 the decor also composed of a stack of n equals six identical layers. Multi head tension over the output of the inc of, over the output of the encoder stack. I don't understand what the purpose of these is, but yeah, I mean that's kind of this connection here, right? So it does multi head tension. <laughs> Similar to the encoder, we employ residual connections around each of the followed by a learning was we also modify the self attention or whatever attention. So an attention function can be described as mapping a query and a set of key value pairs to an output. Vectors are all vectors. 
the output is computed as a weighted sum of the values. Well, okay, so these are these are vectors. So I think that I think that I've implemented correctly. Multi head tension. Feed forward, embedding in softmax position encoding. Oh, so they do the sine and cosine thing here, so that's cool. Y self attention. Uh, to learn, uh, so if you get operations, you're gonna layers. I don't know. Uh, optimizer, blah blah blah. Model variations. Conclusion. But the paper doesn't explain that much. How is that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really understand I, I really don't understand the connection between the two the two lanes that the two sides right input embedding and y output embedding shift it right the decoder is also composed of a stack of in layers in addition to two sub layers Because this seems to be based on sort of an encoder decoder structure. Maybe we need to we need to ask a bit more about these. So neural sequence transaction models have an encoder decoder structure. Maybe I'll ask. Uh, let's see. So can you explanation? Uh, transduction model is and how do encoder decoder structures work? Not code, no, stop, default. It often gets the wrong mode, but if you change it, it's uh, so a transaction model is the type of model that performs the mapping of transformation from one sequence to another sequence. Um, in the context of NL sequence transaction models, these models are commonly used to task as machine translation, text normalization, speech recognition, and more. An encoder construction is a common architectural pattern used in NL sequence transaction models. It consists of two main concepts. The encoder, and the, encoder. the encoder takes an input sequence and transforms it into a compressor presentation called the context vector. Okay, that's cool. But that's what, so that is what we're doing here. All these fucking, like, I don't know, 30 videos we've been doing this <laughs> are thought vector. Um, the encoder processes the input sequence, typically a variable length sequence of tokens, and encodes into a fixed size representation. This representation captures the raw information. Okay, we're do we, this is what we uh, we've done this then now, yeah. But then then this 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 is not this feed forward. I don't know what is this supposed to do feed forward. That's not supposed to do anything then. Um, I think I'm just probably gonna skip that and then I should already be now building that part in here that's the part of the outputs, whatever. So uh, typically variable length sequence of tokens and encodes it into a fixed size rep representation. This representation captures the raw information. Okay. The decoder takes the context vector from the encoder and uses it as an initial state to generate the output sequence. Okay, so that's kind of the output of this is used in the decoder. I guess that's the decoder, right? The decoder is responsible for producing the desired output sequence, usually a sequence of tokens. It does this by generating one token at a time, conditioning on the previously generated tokens. The context vector, the context vector and other relevant information. Okay, so that takes, uh, so that takes the 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 encoded input. So they train encoding the current jointly trained to optimize a specific objective function like with submission since sequence loss. Because I think this is, I think this is just generic. Like, do they mean? by these that that's just like a generic thing uh 
Ah oh, no, that's for model architecture. That's just a model architecture, okay. During the training, it's gonna get Johnny trained. Because still, this is the very generalized concept of like an input sequence and an output sequence. You know what I mean? Like whereas we're what we're trying to do, which might be wrong, is just do like the next word prediction. Um instead of kind of trying to predict sort of a a whole sentence, right? Because because exactly because this is for like translation summarization and stuff it's like you you yeah exactly because it's a different concept like the concept is if what you're trying to do is next character prediction then it's diff it's definitely not that model architecture right because that is for something like say you have you've got text and summaries so you want to train something based on text and summaries you have like inputs and outputs and so you're you're basically have your input embedding in here you do all the stuff you have your output which is you know also like a big bunch of text and you do all the stuff um and then you you combine it i think i've been using that maybe as the wrong reference for the kind of task at hand at least that's what i'm kind of realizing now um the During inference generation, the encoded decoded model takes a new input sequence. So, okay, so the encoded decoded only trained optimized specific objective function, blah, blah, blah. During inference or generation, the encoded decoded model takes a new input sequence, uh, pass it through the encoder to find the context vector, and then use the decoder to generate the output sequence. Yeah, okay. Exactly. That is just generic for like input output kind of uh, yeah transduction tra transduct transduction models but that's not i need to keep remembering this this is not this is not the architecture we're aiming at i shouldn't be looking at this kind of stuff so what would be a good architecture for a simple next word prediction model For a simple next repetition model, common architecture is a recur is no, I don't want an RNN. So I mean again the transformers model is just a very simple thing, right? So uh, so for a simple next one you can you can leverage pre-trained transformer models. <laughs> Oh, from scratch. Build it from scratch. So, data pre processing, tokenizing the input. Punctuation, done. Embedding layer, convert the input tokens into dense vector representations using trainable word embeddings. Whatever, done. I'm just gonna, I've done something very simple. Positional encoding, was encoded to embedding layer to capture the information of the input token. Done. Transformer encoder, implemented transform, a transformer encoder, which consists of multiple self attention layers and feed forward neural network networks. Each self attention layer in the encoder attends to different parts of the input sequence to capture important contextual information. Uh, transformer encoder, transformer encoder, implement the transformer encoder, which consists of multiple self attention layers, each self attention layer in the encoder. Yeah, that's, that's done as well. That's like the, the attention outputs, whatever it's correct or not, but that's the concept. You take each word, kind of map, like look at it, like mathematically against the, the rest of the input, done. Masked language modeling. Choose a masked language model object to train your model on this objective. You randomly mask some of the input tokens. Oh, that's new actually. So, in this objective, you randomly mask some of the input tokens and train a model to predict the correct masked word. Okay, but that's something later for the training. Output layer. Attach a linear layer followed by a softmax max activation function. I think that's what I need to do next. I think what I need to do next is just say, uh, train the thing right so train now train now these input that i have these attention inputs that i have train them because we've got these and the mapping of, of outputs which is just basically an, in, an index over the um the vocabulary 
and um, yeah, and then and then train that, and that's it, I guess. I think that uh, yeah, I think that's that's then the next step, really. So for inference, you pass it through the train model, and then pass it through the network, and then predict the next yeah, predict the next stuff. Training data, good result, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but I think that's good. And I think we're just only missing basically. Um, so build a simple neural network to learn the, uh, to, to basically learn the attention inputs. Yeah. Build and train basically, and then mechanism. I guess that I guess that's it. I just need this is going to be the part where I need to do the, a bit the optimizer and all this kind of stuff. But I think that's that's it. Now the problem is training. So I'm, I'm going to have to look at this because I don't. I'm not 100% sure how I would actually train something like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I think we're getting somewhere. It's just it, it kind of the thing is. Um, it's it's difficult because you start like you start with a very sort of big concept. You got to learn a lot of these. Like okay, so narrow down what you really need, right? So the transformers transformers model is something very kind of high levelish, right? And that's just for, like you've got this concept of an input sequence and an output sequence. Still, why that works well, um, and we'll probably I, I I'd love to kind of compare that later to these recurrent neural networks. I think that could be an interesting thing to take a look at. But anyway, let's get let's try to get down with these finally. <laughs> Uh, so we've got now the attention inputs. Have we done anything special today? Yeah, a little bit. Just kind of done the reasoning. Uh, we've done. Uh, we've put everything together into attention inputs, um, and built the vocabulary. So something very basic. But at least, I think I have a good outline for the next steps. See you in the next session.